Hi guys, so today I'm going to be talking to you about Soy Milk. Soy Milk is a really good desync which you can do from run and then skid. So it's also known as skid turn for this exact reason. So Soy Milk, not gonna lie, I'm not exactly sure how it works but I just know that it does. So the way you do Soy Milk is you run, release your stick, click it back the other way and then immediately do the option that you want Popo to do. So you can see it, but the option I'm using is up tilt, down tilt, up tilt, up tilt the other way, Oops. ice block, first ice block, yep. Yeah, so that's just sort of how the slow mode can be used, and you can do it to set up nice approaching these things. So I'll just show you a couple different options that you can do for slow milk. You can do like slow milk up tilt with Popo. That's really good at catching jumps. If you think your opponent's in a bit of a jumpy mood, then you can tilt and then up smash. Or if they're at low percent, you can up tilt. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Uh, up tilt throws out a nice aggressive hitbox towards the opponent, and you can follow stuff that up with like ice block if you're like too far away. Or oops. Or like a school if you want to try to get a grab. And I, I use some a lot to get like chills grabs because that kind of stuff just kills. Uh, what else? Uh, so milk ice block is really good if you want to set up a defensive position. So you can like blitz wall or start blitz blocking. I'm bad at Blizzblock. Anyway, uh, uh, there'll be a link in the description for what an actually good Blizzblock looks like. Or I might put it in the video, who knows? Uh, but yeah, so Slow Milk, it's not that difficult, but a lot of people get messed up on the rhythm. Now, I actually do it, I do it quite quickly. You don't have to do it that quickly, but there, there's a lot of, it's a pretty decent window. So if you want to learn how to do this, the easiest way to learn is just one input at a time. It's the same with a lot of IC stuff, so trust me on that one, it works. So the way I learn, the way I teach people is just run, run in a direction. Now just let go of the stick, right? Just completely like let, let go of it, like stop stop touching with your thumb. Just let go. Now when you let go, bring it back the other way. So like that. So I'm physically lifting my thumb off the stick and then flicking it back the other way. And now immediately after you do the flick back input, input another move. There is a little bit of timing to it, but once you get it, you've got it. And also using the input view in the top right should really help if you want to be able to learn the timing. So yeah, I think that covers it and thank you very much.